Six weeks with no mail delivery. This community mailbox in Newport Ritchie fell over after it rotted. Well, the eight households who used the box had to pick up their own mail at the post office. When a woman asked, how long will it take to get a new box? She was told, forever. And that's when she knew she'd better call Bankin. Investigator Shannon Bankin joins me now. I mean, that sounds like a cast-off answer, like forever, <laughs> really lady. Does, Jen. And imagine, just imagine having to drive every single day to the post office to get your mail. Every day. Mm -hmm. The homeowner had one simple question about forever. She wanted to know exactly how long is forever. But it fell down almost six weeks ago, and it was Renee just. Renee Brown has picked up her mail in this same community box for 18 years. When the base rotted and it fell over, she went to her local post office in Newport Ritchie. They told me they kind of laughed. It was kind of like this big joke. They looked at the person next to him and they go, "Yeah, it's going to be forever." Our maintenance guy is out, and it, it may be forever. For six weeks, Renee has had to pick up her own mail with no new mailbox in sight. I do have a job, so I, you know, sometimes I can get there. Sometimes I have to leave work on lunch hour or whatever to get there to pick up the mail. She figured it would be a couple of weeks to get the new community box, not six. Renee even offered to buy her own mailbox, but that is not allowed in the Mill Pond neighborhood. It's a community box owned and maintained by the United States Postal Service, so Renee could do nothing to help herself. She asked for a supervisor. The supervisor came out and he said, well, this is the post office. It's going to be a while. What does that mean? I, I'm not sure. So I, every two days I go pick up the mail and I ask someone different, you know, what is the status on the mailbox? And they kind of laugh every time. Well, it's going to be a while. The driving back and forth to the post office is getting old, and the lack of answers is even more frustrating. You know, they tell yeah. me something different every time I go in. But, you know, I started to wonder, well, how long is forever? And that's when I decided to call you. I went to the post office, left my card, and then called the regional supervisor. Within hours, I was assured a new box is on the way. A spokeswoman for the, a spokeswoman for the Postal Service emailed me this afternoon, and she says there's no explanation for what went wrong. She didn't offer one, but she did offer a promise to make things right, and I'm told residents should get their mail in a new mailbox by the end of the week. Well, I'm curious, why do they use that kind of mailbox? I mean, it looks like your average neighborhood. Why don't mm -hmm. they just have mailboxes in front of each of their houses? I've actually never seen one of those in a single-family community before, mm -hmm. but this resident says she's lived there 18 years. She's always had the mailbox, and it's been that same one without any maintenance, they're not allowed to put up a regular mailbox in that neighborhood. She said she even asked to fix this problem. Can I just put up a mailbox right. you know, at the end of my driveway? And they said, no, can't do it. But you've got a promise now. That's and right. I, I smell a follow-up coming. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. If you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin. The number 1-855-BANKIN.